Cozy Glow was an evil genius. She almost managed to destroy all of the magic in Equestria, and she even managed to beat Twilight Sparkle in a duel. But for some reason, this never sat right with me, especially since every other magical creature had to learn to use their magic, but Cozy didn't. So today, I'm gonna bring you a new theory. A theory about how Cozy Glow studied how to use magic. You're doing a theory? Well, I guess I'll have to be the one that proves it wrong. And you are... Don't worry about that for now. Let's just get on with this theory. You know you are my very best friends. Throughout the entirety of Friendship is Magic, we see that all unicorns have to learn how to use their magic. We see this again with Twilight when she first became an alicorn. She even stated that she was just learning how to control her own alicorn magic. So something just doesn't add up. So why is it that Cozy Glow didn't have to train at all to use her magic? She even managed to best an alicorn as experienced as Twilight. That's why I believe that she studied magic. While that is a good point, it doesn't mean that Cozy Glow studied magic. For all we know, she could have been a natural at using magic, even as a pegasus. Yeah, but I don't think that's the case. Twilight wasn't just the element of magic, it was also her special talent. Yet she still had to train to use it. So Cozy Glow being a natural at magic wouldn't make any sense. And how's that? Well, for that, I think we need to look at how magic in Equestria works. So right now, we know that there are some rules on how to use magic in Equestria. First, we know that the user has to have some degree of magic to begin with. Since the Pegasi lost their ability to fly when Tyrk absorbed their magic, that means that Cozy Glow does have some degree of magic, even though she's a Pegasus. Next, the user has to be able to export the magic from their bodies in some way. Kinda like how the unicorns and alicorns have to use their horns as a way to export their own magic. We even see this with other creatures that use magic as well. And finally, the user has to have the knowledge on how to export their magic the right way to get the desired results. Which explains why unicorns and alicorns have to study to use stronger spells. Okay, but how would you explain pumpkin cake? Um, pumpkin cake? Yes, she was able to use basic levitation without knowing how to cast a single spell. And that means your theory is broken. Well, not exactly. You see, throughout the entire journey of the main six, we even see that every pony has their own magical ability in some way, such as Fluttershy's ability to communicate with animals, or Rarity's ability to use a spell to find gems. Those are all something that's unique to only them. And Twilight is no different. Remember when McFlurry- <coughs> Sorry. Flurry Heart destroyed the Crystal Heart? Twilight was able to remember the spell to fix the Crystal Heart from just looking at it once. She's even been able to do this with Rarity's own gem finding spell. So it's entirely possible that Pound Cake was just simply born with the ability to levitate. Fine, but how does that even apply to Cozy Glow? Well, from this we can say that there are two different types of magic in Equestria. Creature magic and artifact magic. So for a pony like Cozy Glow to want to drain all of the magic from Equestria, she would have to know how both types of magic work. That way she can counter it the right way. Fine, let's go ahead and say that's true. When would she even have time to study that kind of magic? I'm pretty sure Twilight didn't go around teaching her about anything other than the magic of friendship. Well, yeah, she learned it while she was at the School of Friendship. What about Tyrik? Well, Tyrik only pointed her in the right direction. He never really hinted at telling her much, which means that she learned the rest on her own. The artifacts, how magic works, and how unicorns and alicorns use it. These all played a part in teaching her how to drain magic from Equestria. Then why would she need to learn how to use magic? It wouldn't benefit her in any way. Well, that's not entirely true. It definitely would, but we'd have to see her motives in order to understand why. We definitely know she wanted to take over the School of Friendship after she drained all of Equestria's magic. Okay, so? So, that means that she wanted to beat Twilight in the Friendship Games. What, no takers? fine. But how could she even face the princess of friendship on even ground? Especially since she was an alicorn. That's why she would have studied magic to take away Twilight's power. That way they could be on equal grounds. Because in the end, what Cozy Glow truly wanted was power. Hmm. So you're saying that the best way to beat your enemies is to know your enemies. 
Exactly. But Cozy Glow's plan was doomed from the start. You just can't beat the magic of friendship. I still don't think that would work. But it does make you wonder, what would have happened if Cozy Glow had learned how to use the magic of friendship? That's a good question, but it's probably a story for another day. Anyway, what do you all think? Do you think that he's right about the theory not working? Or do you think the theory holds? Leave your thoughts in the comments section below. And tell me what you think about, um... Trailblazer. You're using my original name? Yep. Uh, okay. And I want to thank my first Patreon. Your support means so much to me. But I do have to say, if you want to support me, do not support me on Patreon. I want to make sure that I grow the channel first and make my videos a much higher quality before I even earn the right to do anything on Patreon. Please save your bits. And if you really do want to support me, then follow me on Twitter. There you'll get constant updates about the next video. And if you like this video, show it. And also subscribe for more and share this with all of your equestrian friends. And check out the original theory by Canned Cream. Link is in the description. Anyway, this is Windstriker, signing off. Later! Who are you talking to?